I'm Emily Cressy, your out and about real estate broker, and today we are visiting Renton. It is so important to me that you end up enjoying the part of town that you live in, whether you're at the north end of the lake like I am, or south end here down in Renton, east and west, it's all blended together into the greater Seattle area. That's why I've made Let's Go Seattle, because I want you to get out and do new things and get out of your rut. So today, this is a special episode that's talking about Renton and what is it like to live in Renton, some of the fun things that there are to do here. So if you've been thinking about exploring the South End, either as a place to live or a place to visit, here are some fun things that you can do in Renton, Washington. Now, did you know that Jimi Hendrix, the famous musician, was from the Seattle area? That's right. He died suddenly in London in 1970, and his father, Al Hendrix, scraped together the last of his funds to bring Jimmy's body home here to the Seattle area so he could be buried uh, with where his family is. And so right here in Renton, we have a Jimi Hendrix Memorial, which is the site where he was laid to rest with uh, some of his family members as well. Jimi Hendrix was laid to rest here in Renton, perhaps? We're also right by Renton Technical College over there. I want to be respectful because there's an actual funeral going on here at the cemetery, but we are in Renton at, uh, check out this cool guitar. We're at the Jimi Hendrix Memorial. I don't know if you're a Jimi Hendrix fan. There he is, standing behind me. He died in 1970 and his father paid for his body. To, he died in London, but he was from the Seattle area. So his father lived out here and paid for his body to be brought back. And they developed this uh, big family memorial just here in the middle of the cemetery where uh, other family members as well, Al Hendrix, the dad, and uh, I think five all together, are laid to rest here with Jimmy. But this is a really cool thing to come see if you're either a music fan or live in the Renton area. It's kind of a local uh, hot, not a hot spot, but like a, a thing, a thing you should know about. And look up here, Jimmy still has some fans. I don't know if you can tell but his memorial has been defaced by a little bit of kissing action. <laughs> Someone loves Jimmy and that's, uh, that's clear to see, you know, he was a, a local legend, hometown boy made good, and it's nice to see that people still remember and appreciate him. So if you are in Renton, this is something you should know about. Another uh, less permanent, messy legacy, they're, they're putting their guitar picks there. So uh, love Jimi Hendrix or not, come down here to Renton, and this is a fun thing to do. And of course, we're in a beautiful Memorial Park uh, Cemetery as well. So uh, we finally got some sun, and uh, if you're in Renton, enjoying the sun. So when you're in Renton, that would be one fun thing, especially if you're a music fan. After you, you visit the Experience Music Project in downtown Seattle, make sure you make your trip down to Renton as well and visit the Jimi Hendrix Memorial. Another fun thing to do, we are right on the water. We're right by Lake Washington here in the South End. So if you want to spend some time at the beach, go visit Jean Colon Memorial Beach Park. This is a popular place to come in the Renton area and definitely on the list of top fun things to do in Renton. So today we are visiting Jean Colon Park in Renton. Yes, Renton. We're right down here by the Renton Boeing facility off of 405 and this place is hopping. Not only do we have this gorgeous park with lots of waterfront frontage, I guess, and amazing views. Look at this view. You can put in your canoe, you can put in your motorboat. Uh, there's a dock. I, you might be able to fish. I'll go check that out. But uh, great place to come and enjoy and I can imagine with uh, all this seating around here, trails, walking, that there is plenty to do at any time of year. That fish and chip from Ivor smells amazing. If you don't like swimming in the lake, which can be a little bit cold, then check out the pool. In the summer, 
there aren't that many outdoor pools in Seattle really because it doesn't get that hot. But when it is hot, this place is packed and it is so cool. It's called Henry Moses Aquatic Center. It's got a lazy river, a wave pool, a water slide and lifeguards. So there's everything that you need for a fun family day in the sun. And you got to get down here at least once on one of those hot Seattle days and enjoy cooling off with the kids in the water. Next on the list is the Renton Civic Theater. And sometimes these places just age and decline and go away, but sometimes they get made into a memorial, a landmark, something that everyone knows about and still enjoys going to to see the movies. So next time you're in town, look for the Renton Civic Theater. Next, I wanna point out the Renton Memorial Stadium. This is owned by the Renton School District. So if you go to school here, you are gonna be playing and competing in an amazing facility. They have artificial turf and artificial grass, which I don't love, but it looks fantastic. It's what the big boys are doing these days. So um, both the middle school and the high school use it for track and field, and there are also soccer and football matches here. So uh, hopefully if you live in Renton, you'll have the chance to come out for the, the Friday night lights and see some exciting competitions there on the gridiron at Renton Memorial Stadium. Right behind Renton Memorial Stadium is the Cedar River Trail. This is a very popular, it looked to me, it was crowded when I went, even though it was a little bit rainy on this beautiful day here. Um, it, a great place for walking, dog walkers, very flat because it's along the river and some incredible views. It goes um, on the other side, so it's the stadium, then the trail, and then on the other side, is the Renton Municipal Airport. There is a city-run airport here in town and it's right across uh, by the river. So if you are an airplane aficionado, that's a cool place to go and take a look at some planes that you're not gonna see at SeaTac Airport. So in addition to fun things to do, I just wanted to hit briefly on the real estate side. We still do see some more affordable homes here in the 450,000 range and up for a home. There are certainly condos as well. And a lot of the homes are older down in the city, but as you get up onto the ridge, you'll have some homes with fantastic views of the area and in some cases, Lake Washington. So if you're interested in calling Renton home, it's a fun place to check out. There are lots of things to do. And of course, we're very close to downtown Seattle. So it's a great place to um, commute in from to Seattle or Bellevue as well. So you're never really alone in Renton. You're just next to other bigger cities, but it's good to know what's happening in your neighborhood. And the answer to that is quite a lot. So be sure to check out my other videos on neighborhoods in and around the Puget Sound area. Each one is a little different and I want you to have a slice of life there. So whether that's where you decide to live or whether you're just visiting for the day, you can find some fun things to do and get a feel for what it's like to actually be there, live there, spend time there, get in with the locals here in Renton or other parts of town. So thanks so much for watching. This has been Emily Cressy, make it a great day and thanks so much for watching.